My name is Fardado Kelly and I'm a consultant urologist. And my name is Liz Boyce and I'm a clinical nurse specialist for urology. Okay, so Liz, we're going to, we're doing this educational session, I suppose, on clean intermittent mm -hmm. catheterization here. And, and we had looked at one with a male, but we're going to try it one with a female uh, mm -hmm. specimen now. And it, there are just subtle differences between the two, aren't there? Yes, so with a female, their urethra or their water pipe is yeah. relatively short. Okay. okay, so therefore the catheters we use are shorter. Okay. So 20 centimeters and then, or the mini. Mini catheters, <clears throat> which are nine centimeters, um, ideal for use if you are able to do your catheter while sitting on the toilet, um, which therefore you'll drain um, directly into the toilet and with gravity. So nice and compact and neat. Um, and then the 20 centimeter is used for anyone who needs to catheterize while lying flat. Okay. So a very short catheter <clears throat> will not suffice. You need a little bit of siphonage um, to drain the bladder while lying flat. Okay. So. Um, other obvious differences, um, the female anatomy, you've got the urethral opening and you've got the vaginal opening. Right. So slightly more difficult, I would say, to catheterizing a male. So with the male, you've got one way in, one opening, um, and quite easy to see. In a female, it can be more difficult. You've got the labia, mm -hmm. and you've got your urethra and your vagina then, and no two people are the same. Right. Um, yeah. I've done this for a long time, and everyone is different. So when you start with a female, it can be difficult to identify the urethral opening. So there are a few little tips and tricks. If you get them to cough or get them to bear down, yeah. your urethra, the urethra will often pop open yeah. slightly or they will pass urine. They'll have a wee and you can see exactly where you need to go. So that's one simple trick that I tend to use. So for the female, similar to the male, um, just clean the area. Um, a wipe, water and gauze, whatever you have, there is no need for any cleaning solutions. So I will go with the 20 centimeter catheter first. And I suppose just while you're getting that ready, I, yeah. I know when we, we've been catheterizing these models, you know, the, the well, it's clearly not urine obviously, but it's water, but it just ends up kind of seeping on the, on the bed or whatever. But yeah. the, I suppose that's just for demonstration purposes. Demonstration purposes. And also catheters come in all shapes and sizes. You can also get ca catheters with bags, drainage bags attached. So if you are doing catheterization on a bed, um, it just keeps everything nice and clean for you. It'll catch it and then you can empty it down the toilet when you're done and discard in the bin as normal. So often, in, if the, depending on the age of the child, if they wear nappies, yeah. ideally let the urine drain into the nappy yeah. and then just change them as normal. Yeah. It yeah. makes life easier. Harder if you're trying to catheterize and catch it in a receptacle or a bowl or a jug. Legs, everything can be going, depending on the age of the child. So if you, especially when you're learning, your, your concentration needs to be on, on, on getting it where it needs to be rather than trying to also catch it. And I suppose you, you mentioned, so the tips and tricks for catheterize catheterization or catheterizing a a, a, a a young girl whatever with this but I suppose that's when you're doing it what if what if they're doing it themselves I mean how do they mm -hmm. go about it? they often can't see it so we tend to teach them by navigation and eventually right. when you know your own anatomy you will you will easily catheterize by navigation some people okay. will do the fingertip trick where they will access find their urethra and then they know where they're going so and that comes back, that's feedback we get from the patients that tend to do it themselves. Mirrors are a great addition uh, mm -hmm. when you're catheterizing. Um, knowing your own anatomy um, is often the first hurdle for a lot of young girls because they're absolutely disgusted at when you ask them to have a look and mm -hmm. see where the wee comes from. And they nearly, they're nearly afraid of, of, of what they see. But that's what we tend to do. We like to show them. Um, you can place a mirror in front of you um, and you can see exactly what is happening. Right. What we like to do is we, we might place a mirror and, and get them to put hand over hand. So we do it first. Um, and then another trick is when you can identify where the urethra is, mm -hmm. you move your remove your hands ask them to hold it themselves ask them to just get an idea a landmark of where it is just before you remove and they can remove themselves and i suppose given the patients that we've been talking about or the types of patients we've mm -hmm. been talking about they probably would have been used to having this done for years anyway so they just Absolutely. haven't done it themselves like, and you so. find it's a progression with yeah. uh, at their own speed everyone is different but generally it's a parent that's been doing it for years and years right. and then their independence kicks in and they will start by 
uh, removing a catheter, then they'll go to starting to put it in hand over hand and eventually they will take off. So yeah. if we're the novice caregiver here, what do we do? So finding the urethra is your golden ticket. Right. So when you give a little clean, make sure the area is nice and clean. So you've got to separate the labia and that's the biggest thing. What you don't want to do is come through closed labia into your urethra because you're going to take bugs from the skin mm. um, up into the urethra mm. and you, you do you're, you're at a risk of, of developing a urinary tract infection or a bladder infection at that point. So ideally you want to just with two fingers very gently in as, in as close as you can to the inside labia and just gently open and lift. Now obviously my model doesn't move as, yeah. as, as nicely as, as human skin but you open and gently lift because yeah. if you gently lift and pull you will, you will expose the urethra. Now as you can see my model has a beautiful wide <laughs> patent urethra there so you're going to come one hand, so dominant hand with your catheter, open, lift, look for your urethra. Your urethra is generally up higher, the vagina is lower. Um, so if you go and you think, yeah, that looks, I'm going to give it a go, mm -hmm. your catheter will automatically slide through a urethra. Mm -hmm. if, if, if there's major resistance, you're just not quite there. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> if you're starting off as well, and you feel, oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, and you put your catheter in and nothing comes out, chances are, there is a chance you've gone into the vagina. Uh, is that okay? It's not the end of the world. Yeah, okay. Take it out, but maybe get a clean catheter just right. so you're not introducing flora from the vagina up into the urethra. Gotcha. So we go again. Again, you can ask for a little cough. Now, the positioning for the girls, while it's easy for me to, this model has lovely wide yeah. open, you're going to ask them to bring up their knees okay. and frog leg them out to the sides. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So you find your urethra. There we go. We're going in. And again, it's usually a shorter run for the girls. And there we go. Yeah. Just hold your catheter in place until it's drained. Again, the pressure on the abdomen, a, a chat or a cough, a yeah. few nice big coughs. If they can, sit them up because again, with gravity, if you consider your bladder is like a balloon and the mm. knot is at the end, you want the knot facing down towards the ground as opposed to lying sideways. And we're not going to do that here obviously now, but... And then once you finish flow, again the same thing, slowly out in case you get an extra little bit of flow. Yeah. And remove and discard in your household bin. That's great. So that is our female. Female catheterization. Thanks Liz. Yeah.